This, this whole Raven situation is really turning into Avengers Endgame because first we end up calling back Tony Jefferson and he comes swinging back to the Ravens like Spider-Man and then now we get Josh Johnson back again and he comes through like Black Panther this so welcome back Josh YouTube team keep it clean What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, and in this video, I mean, we've been saying it from jump. We do not, and we have been moving this week and thinking this week. My thought process this week has been, Lamar's not playing. Yeah, I heard what John Harbaugh said the other day. Oh, yeah, we expect Lamar to play. You know how Harbaugh be. He ain't going to come out and say, oh, it's Tyler Huntley, go week this week. If he can do any little thing to try and manipulate these Packers and who they're preparing for, he's going to do it, which I understand. No problem with that. Cool. But we know that Lamar, he ain't playing. Didn't expect him to play. Didn't think he was going to play. And we always talk about how action speaks so much louder than words. And the way that the Ravens move, it will give you indicators. This right here, the fact that the Ravens are signing Josh Johnson, former Baltimore Moore Raven, by the way, also former Buck, former Brown, former Jet. For, let, me, let me see what else he was a former of. Oh, former Washington football team. Um, he's, he's now with the Ravens, and he's back. Welcome back. I remember he was a preseason hero. Uh, what year was that? Oh, not 2015. I forget what year it was, but he was a preseason hero, and... A lot of us were kind of upset that he didn't make the team. Uh, and then we know it's a numbers game. And I remember so many preseason guys that we just fell in love with. Remember Jalen Hill? Remember him? I uh, remember uh, Brent Renner. Uh, number, oh, he's, he's like number seven, I think. Josh Johnson was another one. Um, and and there have been guys. Oh, the receiver. The receiver who went to the Chargers, but it just didn't work out for him. Oh, I forget his name. I know somebody in the comment section. One of y'all going to remember for sure because I know y'all will because y'all are the greatest. Uh, but anyway, um, no rush for Lamar Jackson. No rush. And Ravens are going to be practicing today. I do not expect Lamar Jackson to be out there on the practice field at all. If he is, then you got to take it extra easy. Extra easy. Like, but I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to be out there. I really don't. Um, and again, Tyler Huntley, he's showing you that he can come in and when he gets comfortable, he can make some stuff happen. Now, one thing to think, because some, some of y'all have been getting like really carried away, really carried away this week. And we love Tyler Huntley. We love Lamar. Lamar is the Ravens guy. He is the Ravens. It seems as if a lot of people have forgot. They, 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 uh, recency bias is real, so I can understand that. But still. I feel like a lot of Ravens fans and just some media people, they've forgotten what Lamar has done. They've forgotten what he can do. And it seems as if a lot of people have just erased all of Lamar's good stuff that he's done for this team. Literally saved this team. Saved the team, saved Harbaugh, saved so much. They erased all that. And they're like, oh, these last four or five games where he hasn't been playing so good, that defines him as a player. He doesn't deserve the money. He doesn't deserve the contract. Ravens should get rid of him. Move forward with Tyler Huntley. Da, 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 da. It's like, whoa. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Um, now, of course, we're rocking with Tyler Huntley. We, we want Tyler Huntley to come out there and kill it. We want him to, to just go off. But let's not forget who Lamar Jackson is. Even though he's big ups to Tyler Huntley, let's not do a big down to Lamar. Now, um, something to think about going into this Packers game, and we'll talk about this more in depth later on. When you think about Tyler Huntley and his situation this year, uh, he came in, Bears game, it was expected that Lamar Jackson was going to play. Lamar Jackson didn't feel good. Lamar Jackson didn't play. Tyler Huntley found out, what, like an hour and change before the game? Bears found out like an hour and change before the game? So then, also in this game against the Browns, Lamar Jackson was supposed to play. He actually was playing. Then he got hurt, um, and then Tyler Huntley came in. So something to think about. Now, we hope that this doesn't change 
anything that goes on with Tyler Huntley. It doesn't change his success that he's had. Um, but something to think about, these teams were preparing for Lamar. They weren't preparing for Tyler Huntley. And I know they do have similar styles, but they do some things very differently from each other. But these teams, they were, they were getting, all right, Lamar, we got to do this to stop Lamar, that to stop Lamar, 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 Lamar. They weren't preparing for Tyler Huntley. Now the Packers, I'm sure they will be preparing for Tyler Huntley. Like I said, hopefully that doesn't change anything, and hopefully Tyler Huntley still goes out there and kills it. And for, for some strange reason, I know somebody in the comment section, they shared my same thoughts. Got like a this weird confidence about this game. I don't know why. It doesn't mean anything. It, just because I say I got some confidence doesn't mean they're going to win. Just because I got some confidence doesn't mean they're going to lose. Doesn't mean anything. That's just how I feel about the game personally. Um, but with Tyler Huntley, the Packers will be game planning for him. So let's see how he does. Now, another thing, too. That with Tyler Huntley, with, it's been the same thing with him. It's been the same thing with Lamar. A lot of people forget. They forget. The offense, they start off slow. They've started off slow. And then all of a sudden at the end, at the end of the game, that's when, okay, let's pick it up. All right, let's get it. Let's move now. It was the same thing with Tyler Huntley, too. It was the same thing. It looked prettier, but it was the same process. Same process where Tyler Huntley, the offense may be moving and then he'll turn the ball over. Remember the fumbles with Lamar? The offense may be moving, interception, turnover, same thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, at the end of the game, they're, they're playing more smooth, they're playing better, and they end up coming back. It's been the same process. So I, again, I think a lot of people, they, 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 they keep forgetting. They forget that. But it's all good. Anyway, team keep it clean. Uh, with Josh Johnson, uh, they the, with the Ravens, they signed him off of the Jets practice squad. So it, it's, it's, this is weird because this is a flip-flop. Because y'all know usually with the Jets, they sign all these Ravens. Y'all know, the Baltimore Jets, the New York Ravens, whatever you want to call them. They usually sign all the Ravens players. But in this case, the tables have turned. And Ravens are like, ah, right, yeah, come on, come through. Come on, let's, let's go. Let's get it. Um, so with them signing him, he, he goes straight to the active roster. Straight to the active roster. So that's how you know this means business. And yeah, Lamar, he's going to be out. Now, um, I'm waiting to see what the Ravens' uh, corresponding move is going to be. Because I don't think that, uh, I'm not sure they have a, an open spot on the active roster. So, because usually, especially at this point of the season, if somebody comes up to the active roster, then somebody has to go down off the active roster. So, I, I'm, I'll be, I'm pretty sure they are at 53 men on the roster. So, this would make 54. But if they're not at 53 men, then okay, he's straight. But, I don't know. Oh, oh, the year that Josh Johnson was with the Ravens was 2016, not 2015. That's 2016. Uh, so that's just been cleared up. But anyway, um, let's go Ravens. Uh, practice today will start to give us more of a clear story as to if Lamar Jackson, again, whether he practices today or practices Thursday, practice fr really Friday. Friday is always the best indicator of if a player is going to play, if they practice on Friday. I don't expect it, but hey, we'll see. I don't expect it, though. Do I do not think Lamar plays this week, and that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I know I, I've seen some people in the comment section be like, man, this is my first game. It's my first game going, and Lamar's not even playing. Trust me, I, I, I feel you, and I know you don't say that. I, don't, I know that's not coming from a selfish place like, oh, man, I paid money for this ticket. Lamar better be playing. No, I understand. It's more so disappointment. I get that. I remember, and, and it's different. It's much different. But I remember when we went up there this uh, summer for the Ravens open practice. And I was hoping to see Lamar. I was hoping to see Hollywood. To, oh, man, like, I want to see them boys in Florida. But neither one of the two practice. And it's different because that was practice and this is a game. But still, I, 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 I feel you. But don't worry. 
Tyler Huntley and them boys, they 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 got you. They got you. Ravens, Ravens gonna make something happen this weekend, man. They gonna make something happen this weekend. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I hope y'all are having the best, the best of Wednesdays. The best of Wednesdays. Or oh, really, whenever you're watching this, I hope your day is just going so great. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like Lamar Jackson probably will be this week for the game against the Packers. I'm out.